Sample problem. Predict the acid-base reaction when aqueous solutions of sodium hydrogen carbonate reacts with lithium nitrate. And on which side of the equation equilibrium favors? First, we need to establish all the species present so that we can identify which is the strongest acid and which is the strongest base. We then combine them in an equation and establish which side is favored. So we shall set up some rules for writing acid-base reaction equations. First, we identify all possible reactants. These are aqueous solutions. So we dissociate all water-soluble ionic compounds. We also ionize any top six acids into a hydronium ion and its conjugate base, and add water, since water could serve as either an acid or a base. List also all molecular compounds, including weak acids. Next, starting at the top of the acid column, moving down the page until you find one of the reactants, we will find the hydrogen carbonate ion first. Then, move to the bottom of the conjugate base column and move up the page until you find the other reactant. And the nitrite ion is found next. These are now the reactants of the acid-base equation. Now, using the Bronsted-Lowry model of acids and bases, write out the conjugate acid-base products. This is done by removing a proton from the strongest acid, then attaching it to the strongest base. Since the hydrogen carbonate ion is below the nitrite ion in the acid base table, then reactants are favored, and this is indicated by writing less than 50% above the equilibrium arrow, suggesting less than 50% of the reactants formed products. As mentioned earlier, the acid ionization constant provides us with a quantitative assessment of the strength of acids. Like any other equilibrium reaction, the acid ionization constant is derived from an equilibrium expression called the acid ionization expression. We derive the acid ionization expression by first considering this general equation, where HA represents any monoprotic acid. Since water, like any other pure substance, has a fixed concentration, it is not included in the expression. In this course, acid-base reactions always occur in aqueous solutions, and the Ka value reflects this. In this acid-base equation, aqueous hydrogen sulfite ionizes in water to produce the hydronium and hydrogen sulfite ions. The acid ionization expression provides a way of determining the acid ionization constant, which according to your data booklet is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 2. I wrote Ka1 because this particular reaction involves a diprotic acid, so there is a second acid ionization expression and a second acid ionization constant. The ionization of the hydrogen sulfite ion produces hydronium ions and sulfite ions. The second acid ionization constant from your data booklet is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 8.